Hey guys, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Donner DDP80 digital keyboard in this video and I'm so excited to finally see what it looks like in person. I have been waiting a while to see what it's like. So the brand sent me this keyboard, but I wanted to tell you guys that I actually fully intended on getting this keyboard on my own. A friend of mine and I were talking one night about keyboards and he was sending me pictures of keyboards that I should get for my apartment. And he sent me a picture of this one, the Donner one. And I was like, this is the most beautiful keyboard that I've ever seen. It looks like a wooden keyboard. It's got three pedals, like a real piano. It's got 88 keys weighted, like a real piano. And it was a good price as well. So I thought it would look so cute in this apartment. So I took a screenshot of it at the time to just save it. And I would actually show this screenshot to other friends and be like, look at the keyboard that I'm gonna get for my apartment. It's gonna look so cute. So I looked it up again a few weeks ago and I noticed that the brand name was Donner. It hadn't registered at the time before, but Donner is a ukulele brand as well. And if you know my channel, I do a lot of ukulele videos and Donner and I had talked in the past about doing a collaboration video for the ukulele. So I reached out to them and asked if they wanted to do a keyboard collaboration and they said yes. So it was kind of just a nice like stars aligning, happy coincidence. So. That's how it came about and I just wanted to share that with you guys that this was a keyboard that I picked out and really wanted to get and it just happened to be that I had a connection with the brand too. So let's look at the keyboard, let's unbox it and let's see what it's like. <laughs> So here we are, it came in this giant box. Here we go, let's open it. I'm gonna make a fort out of this box, for sure. So these bars are actually not wooden. They are metal. really pretty in real life too. So first impressions just with look. I really like the way that this looks. This part is like, it's not wood exactly I think. It's like a little bit like plasticky on wood I think. But it still looks like wood and it still feels really nice. The same goes for that, the music stand. And as I said, these are metal. Here are the petals. I thought that this would match the wood here, so I would have liked it more if it did, I think, but it still looks fine. I guess that, um, you know, your feet are going to go down there. I appreciate how shiny these petals are. You can see yourself in the petals. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put it together now and let's see how this goes.
Hey guys, so the keyboard has been here about a week now. I wanted to spend some time playing it, practicing so that I could give a better review. And it's been a while now. I did some playing, I did a rehearsal with one of my friends even, and I really love this keyboard. I can highly recommend this keyboard to you if you're looking for something affordable, something beautiful, and something that's nice to play. So what drew me to this keyboard first was how it looks. I just love the design. It looks natural since it's made of this wood. It's very unique and it just got like a cool funky design to it. Like it looks modern but kind of old as well. I also really like how it plays. It's got a nice touch, a good feel to it. it sounds like a real piano. The keys are weighted so it's heavier down in the bass and it's lighter up in the top just like a real piano is. It's got some dynamics to it so you can play soft. You can play loud. So you've got some control over the dynamics. It's not just the same all the way through. You also have the three pedals below, which is so nice. Again, it's like a real piano. So you've got the sustain. You have the soft pedal, which does a little bit to make it soft just like a real piano just adds like a little bit of color and then you have the middle one i'm actually not quite sure what it's called but you play a chord you hold it down and then look no hands but it's still there <laughs> you use it so rarely but it's cool that you've got all three you've got all the options so you can play anything the power switch and all of the other controls are on the back of the piano so they're out of sight and again it kind of gives it that natural look so it looks more like a real piano in that way you have the power button the volume control you also have a usb input so you can connect to your computer you also have the out so you can plug in an instrument cable which is what I'm doing right now I've got the instrument cable from the keyboard going into my preamp which connects to my computer and I can record directly into logic my recording software so it just makes it really easy to record and you also have the headphone jack which is something I mean I think all keyboards have that but I wanted that since I'm in an apartment and then I can play and record at any hour of the day or night <laughs> And then last of all, I just wanted to say, you've got this flat surface. There's kind of a lot of space on the keyboard itself, which has been super handy to just put my laptop here. Makes it easier to record or to write because I can just write straight into the keyboard or like read chord charts. It's got enough space to just sit right there. Maybe a con for this piano is that it only has one sound. Personally, I like that because I don't care about the rest of the sounds. I just want a piano. I also got the matching piano bench from Donner. I put it together myself. It's um, got that same wooden look to it, the same color. The top of it is so soft. So now let me play a little bit of the piano so you can hear what it sounds like.
the door It's not anything you did It's kinda just who you turned out to be So that is my review of the Donner keyboard. I hope this was helpful. I hope it helps you decide whether or not you're going to get the keyboard. I can highly recommend it if you're looking for something affordable, good for beginners, good for intermediate, whatever you want to do. I think this is a really nice keyboard to have. There is a link below. It's an affiliate link. So if you do end up buying this piano, I'll get a small commission, but there's no extra cost to you. And. I think that's everything. Please let me know if you have any questions about the keyboard in the comments. I'll do my best to respond and give you a detailed answer. And thank you so much to Donner for sponsoring this video. If you liked it, please give it a like. Please subscribe for more videos. You'll definitely see this piano again soon in my other videos. And I hope that you have a lovely day. I'll see you again soon. Bye!